Hello everyone, so today we will understand what is lead and how to create a lead in ERP Next. Now what are lead? Leads are basically a potential customer who might be interested in your product or in your service. So if we want to, if we want to uh, get more customers so and more leads, so we need to make sure that we have listed all our products uh, and then we have maintained an updated and searchable website and we are properly advertising our products or service. Okay, so mm, this um, leads are actually called leads because they lead you to sale, you know. So that's why we call them as a lead. So let's create a new lead. All right. So this is the lead that has already created. Now I'm going to create a new lead. All right. So this is the lead you know, person's name. Now let's enter Amy Steele. All right. Now if I check on this particular box then I'll have to enter the name of an organization this particular person is representing. All right, so right now um, I'll just consider that a particular person is um, independent and is not representing anyone and it, that particular person is uh, single-handedly representing a lead for our organization. Okay. Let's enter the email address amy at gmail.com. All right. Let's enter her salutation she may uh, her gender that is all right now from here we can enter the source so if we are having a campaign or all these different type of things advertisement or customer so how uh, it's basically representing how we are trying to represent ourselves so let's consider that we are trying to represent ourselves through our campaign all right so I'll enter the already created campaign this is the introduction so this particular campaign that is the product introduction for customers so if uh, for this particular ME steel we will be using this campaign all right that is intro introducing our products to her okay now one more thing this is uh, this is really an important field okay now you can see that there are different different sections in there so let's understand what is all this different section means okay now if it is a lead that this is basically a default status okay whenever the lead is created so this is the default status that is added so we need to um, we need to do different uh, actions had to be taken for all of them okay now open what does open represents that uh, whoever is a sales executive they need to contact this lead okay if it is replied that means a sales executor has provided the information to this lead and the response from the lead is awaited okay now opportunity that means that if uh, opportunity if we check check on this opportunity that means that the lead is qualified and may lead to a sales all right the next is quotation so if a quotation is created against a lead then the status is set to a quotation Okay, now last quotation that means that if the quotation given to lead has been marked, marked as a lost, then status is set to lost quotation. Okay, now quotation uh, we will cover in a different section. So for now, let's um, will more focus on this lead and all these things. Interested that means that the lead is interested in our products or in our service. Next is converted. So that means that. Uh, if the quotation given to the lead has resulted in a confirmation of any order or service so we can set this to convert it okay and do not contact that particularly means that the lead is not interested and no further communication is needed so for now I'll just set the set it as an open okay so sales executive needs to contact this particular lead okay and then we can add this different information if we want to so let's see what is it okay now this is the follow-up so we are representing um, who will follow up next okay for now I mean for now the lead owner is uh, this particular contact now next uh, when it, who will follow up this particular customer so let's consider that Carol will following up this lead and so today is 20 so suppose if we are contacting a lead today so it's always advisable to contact them after two three working days so let's say contacting after two days okay 
and then we can add more notes and describing about if um, if there's anything specific we want to mention then we can write it in the notes all right now this is the billing address and there are different type of addresses over here so we will uh, mostly enter the billing address okay now billing address uh, will be filled later or during the whenever the uh, particular lead is interested in buying the products now the next is we can enter the con phone number and the mobile number of the lead and then we can see what is the more information okay so what is this lead type so we can enter the lead type uh, it, if it is a client if it is a partner if it is a consultant then we can enter that all right and then we have uh, a market segment and then uh, yeah the market segment of this particular lead okay and then we can also add a website and then industry request type and all this we can enter for the lead okay this is the information about lead so yeah and also we can click on whether this particular lead is a blog subscriber or not so this was about it okay let's just save it save um, okay so this particular lead has been created all right now let's go back let's refresh it okay so we can see that there are two leads for now um, the lead are basically the potential customer so we can say that there are two potential customers and uh, this was about it this was about the lead and everything now what are the different features in the lead so as we saw that we can follow up over here we can follow up also and then we can uh, add multiple contact and addresses and then we can also comment um, record different comment record emails and events okay and next is we can create opportunity customer and quotation against this particular lead which we will see in the next section and then we can also auto assign the leads to the executive okay so this was about it thank you so much for watching